Hey guys, uh, Pase Baller here. We are now on this fourth video or fourth prediction for November 26, 2021 NBA game day. This is the game between Minnesota Timberwolves visiting Charlotte Hornets. This will happen 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, Eastern time, so that's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. Minnesota Timberwolves, they are at uh, 9 wins and 9 losses. Uh, well, Charlotte Hornets, they are sitting with a record of 12 wins and 8 losses. Before we proceed, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account, our YouTube channel, Passe Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be notified whenever new videos are uploaded. You may also share this to your um, uh, friends who are interested in uh, NBA, Philippine basketball, and NFL. All right? All right, uh, Minnesota Timberwolves and Charlotte Hornets, man, these two teams are simply hot. Let's start with uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. We all know that, you know, they started out so flat, um, plus they had some injuries, um, hence that kind of performance. But uh, when uh, D'Angelo Russell came back and uh, when uh, the game of uh, Anthony, um, um, sorry, Anthony was um, elevated just like that, just like him. Plus, Cat, man, and and Beverly, man. He seems like uh, enjoying there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five wins in a row for Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, doesn't sound like Minnesota, huh? Um, they defeated uh, Sacramento, San Antonio. Memphis Grizzlies, New Orleans Pelicans, and the last victim, man, Miami Heat, legitimizing those previous wins. Um, so as again, as you can see, Anthony Edwards, uh, uh, Cat, um, Patrick Beverly, D'Angelo Russell being the point guard. This is this is a crew uh, who would be legit if ever they would, you know, they would even um, improve their bench. For sure, because their starting their starting five men, they are already okay, and uh, there are also some stuff there that can be improved, and that and that's that's the beauty. Uh, there are things there that need to be improved, and can be improved still. Um, now for Charlotte Hornets, they have a better record. They started uh, the season very well, um, went on a slump, then here they are now. Winning seven out of their last eight games. And that makes this uh, match hard to call, man. I checked on the spread. It's minus three uh, in favor of uh, Charlotte Hornets. Um, and this one's really tough, man. If, if, if Even if you would look at the, uh, at some call this, at the uh, matchups, man. Of course, for uh, Minnesota, we've already uh, mentioned uh, the players for Minnesota. Now, for uh, Charlotte Hornets, of course, uh, uh, there's uh, Hayward. Um, you know, there's uh, uh, Ubre. There are a lot. There, there are just a lot of option, options for um, Charlotte, too. Uh, of course, Ball. Um, it's going to be uh, an exciting matchup in the point guard, in the point guard position for sure. Huh, this one's hard. This one's tough. I mean, if, if if you ain't really, you know, if don't have a lot of funds, I would I would suggest for you to go and fade this game. But for those who would want to know what my pick is for this game, I would go and stick with Charlotte Hornets. I would go and stick with the number one more consistent team. Number two, a team which is you know which has uh, more off the bench players um, that can be relied on. And number three. Um, they simply are the home team, and that gives a whole lot of advantage. Not, you know, I'm not taking anything away from Minnesota Timberwolves. You know, that that streak, five game winning streak, is cool. But I really feel like Charlotte Hornets will take this one home, and they would be they would be covering the spread of minus three. So my pick on this one would be Charlotte Hornets minus three. Charlotte Hornets minus three. Peace out, pass love, and God bless.